buddies and welcome back so yesterday i just got this box delivered by fedex so this is my monthly subscription box for fairyloo and it's gonna contain the march 2020 items so this is really like full i don't know if you can see but there's a hump right here at the top so let's get unboxing God, it's so cool. So here we have it. Okay, so I am not sure where my spoiler card is, but I'm going to find out where it is. Okay, so this probably went through customs and they opened it and they put this spoiler card very below the box. Okay, so this is our spoiler card which has our monthly art print and the theme for the March 2020 is Break the Curse. Okay, so first item in the spoiler card is this so it's another book sleeve but this one is really pretty okay so the book sleeve features a coat which is taken from a curse of dark and moony by bridget hemmener it says here that failure isn't absolute just because you couldn't save everyone doesn't mean you didn't save anyone i am so in love with the design i so love it with the lion and the dog hair and all those flowers and the color is really wonderful it's not going to get dirty anytime soon all right so heading off to the next item we have here is the raven cycle headband so it's really cute it's pink and it has a raven on it of course so obviously this is inspired by the Raven Boys and this is illustrated by none other than Tara Ja. Alrighty, so heading on to the next item which is this Wonderland Passport. So it's a passport jacket. So it's your city of Wonderland. Who, who is that? This is by Nobor and Tail. And it is inspired by the Heartless book by Marisa Mayer. Next we have is this one. So this is a tumbler, which is a fairly good holly block tumbler. And according to the spoiler card, this is inspired by the Queen of Nothing. Of course, oh my god, I love their numbers that are like this. I got one which is Beauty and the Beast inspired, and it's like so pretty. And this is equally pretty, it just doesn't have those sequins or glitter things that fall. Oh my god, this is so cool! It says to family and fairyland and pizzas and stories and new beginnings scheming great schemes i can toast that so good and it comes with a black straw really pretty pretty the next we have is this lanyard it is a caraval lanyard which is of course inspired by the caraval series and i love that it's like red black white and a tint of gold this is super super pretty if i am going to wear any ids i'm going to use this one here because this is so amazing so the next one we have is this genie notepad 
So, this one is illustrated by Katarina Book Designs. It is so cute. The only thing that bothers me is just there's too little space for notes if you're going to write about a longer paragraph or, or something you gotta use more of these but for for shorter notes this is for look how pretty that is all right so heading on what else we have here is oh Valaris. It's a postcard. And at the back it says here, Dearest Baby Luther, It has been a hard time for everyone in recent months, and we hope that you are staying safe, looking out for yourself and others, and practicing social distancing if you can. This box is reaching you a lot later than it normally would, and we would like to thank you so incredibly much for your patience and trust in us to get this box to you. We've been blown away by how kind and supportive our community is. And whilst this have been some difficult times, we look forward to things returning to normal in the future and continuing to bring magic to your homes. Valaris, from A Court of Thorns and Roses series, is a fictional city but one that we have always associated with happiness and safety. So we thought that sending you this postcard from the city of the starlight itself would brighten your day a little bit and remind you not to let the hard days win. Once again, thank you from the bottom of our hearts from your friends at Katie Loop. Oh my god, this is so sweet. It's so pretty. And this is so thoughtful of them to send us a little postcard to, to you know because it's really been a hard days for everybody and, it, and this kind of things really do lighten up the mood so yeah so the next we have is of course the monthly tarot cards which we have here is the eight of cups and the seven of cups so this is designed by Gabriela Budoso, which is inspired by the Throne of Glass series by, of course, Sergey Mas. Okay, so let's see if there is anything else here. Okay, so looks like none. So oh, it's one thick book. Okay, so this is going to hold the book of the month, but Wait for it. We also have the art print for the book of the month and of course the letter from the author at the opposite side of the art print. And then we also have the fairy school and the monthly bookmark which is a mini me of the spoiler card art. Yeah, so now we are going to check out the book of the month. So we have Bone Criers Moon by Catherine Purdy. So, yep, it is signed by the author and it has this glistening sprayed edges. Not just like the sorcery of thorns. But this one is green and that was bluish oh my god i like this it's really pretty oh my god it has a map i'm a sucker for books with maps let's see so here's the spine and of course the art print at the reverse of the dust jacket is Right here. Okay, alright, so let's read the synopsis for this book. Uh, just to check. 
what it's all about. So, bone criers have a sacred duty. They alone can keep the dead from preying on the living. Oh, it's about zombies. But their power to ferry the spirits of the dead into Goddess Elera's night heavens or Tyrus's underworld comes from sacrifice. The gods demand the promise of dedication at the cost of the bone criers one true love. Aelis has been prepared since birth to become the matriarch of the bone criers, but first she must complete her rite of passage and kill the boy she is also destined to love. Bastian's father was slain by a bone crier, and he's been seeking revenge ever since. But his vengeance comes too late. Aelis's ritual has begun and now their fates are intertwined in life and in death. Sabine has never had the stomach for the bone crier's work. But when her best friend, Aelis, is taken captive, Sabine will do whatever it takes to break the bond between Aelis and Bastian before they all die. The first pulse pounding novel in a new duology from the New York Times best-selling author of Burning Glass shines with doom romance, macabre magic, and a betrayal with the power to shatter the boundary between the living and the dead. Oh my god, so this is like, this sounds like it has zombies in it, and a little bit of magic, which is always fun. So this one is an art print that is interrelated with the book, of course. So this illustration is by Diana Dwarak. She also did the illustration at the reverse side of the dust jacket so here is the letter from the author which I will try and hold it very stable for you guys so if you want to read it you can just hit pause and help yourselves alrighty so that is it for the March 2020's Fairy Loot Box. So let's see. Let's do a quick recap of the items and whether I like them or not. So first we have is the lanyard, which is Carable inspired. This is a big yes for me. It's really pretty and I really love it. And the color combination is really, it's really cute. I like it. And then next we have is the passport jacket. It's a city of Wonderland. I still have a few more <laughs> passport jackets, but another one won't hurt. So it's good to have. Headbands. I'm not into headbands, but it's really hot in here in the building, so I will probably use this. It will be very helpful for me. But yeah, it's still pretty. It's like, it reminds me of Blair from Gossip Girl because of this motion here. Then we have the book sleeve, which I totally love the design and the color combinations. And of course, it's thick and it has zippers. And then we have the tumbler, of course, yes. This tumbler I really like. The only bummer for this one is there is no cover for the hole if you're not using the straw. So you cannot like put it in the fridge or something. And then we also have the notepad. I really like the notepad. It's really pretty. The color combination is really good. Art print and the letter from the others, good. The book of the month is wonderful, it really sounds amazing. And then we also have the tarot cards, which is a collector tarot cards. And 
yeah we have this postcard which is really sweet of them and it's really thoughtful so yeah and we do have the baby scoop so the next month's theme is memories Alright, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did doing it. And if you guys have any comments or suggestions, just leave them down below. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Stay safe!